Right, so the first thing I'm going to do is just zoom in on this space, and I'm going to go to the magnifying glass to do that. I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag so that I get a zoom window. This is how I like to work. You don't have to do it that way. Next, I'm going to go to the text tool. Click on it. I'm not making a text box. I'm simply just clicking. I get some words that pop up. I've got to pick a letter. So we're starting out simple. I'm picking a letter. If you want to do a more complex design, another thing that you can look below in the description for, I'll have a link to the complex one where you write your full name. This is just one letter. So here comes the letter. I'm going to go R for rib. Could go T for Timothy, but I'm going to go R for rib. R is a little bit harder to cut. Um, so I'll do that. Here comes an R. I'm going to want it a lot bigger. I want it to almost fill this space. Not touch the blue lines or anything. Those are my guidelines, but I want bigger. So I'm going to click and highlight this letter. And then if you look over here, this is the character panel. If you don't see this, go up and find it. You can find it. It's character. I'm going to just start by increasing the font. and get it just a little bigger go around 100 and then go and find yourself a font that you like all right so i've got mine picked out now i'm going to just start punching numbers in here and i'm doing guess and check but i'm trying to get this guy up to a number that's going to come close to filling this space but not quite Go up to the selection tool, move this feller down into position. You can get away with a little bit bigger. You could stop here, that's close. Um, but I'll try to maximize too big. And just barely miss that particular size. So I'm going to do it that size. You can definitely go a little bit smaller on this.